teach soccer this morning where my hubby is a coach for the little kids, two-year-olds, three-year-olds, four-year-olds. So I got my, my Brooklyn hat on for all the Brooklyn people out in the house. <laughs> Can y'all tell me why he doesn't have any... Uh, <laughs> Well, he doesn't have any pants on. It's 30 degrees. Can you say why you don't have pants on? Because soccer players are tough. That's why. <laughs> soccer players are tough, I guess. <laughs> all right. We'll, we're going to show you what these little kids are all about in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. <laughs>
Vina loves is Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. It's so nice to see Kenya Moore happy in love and you know opening up. I'm sure after her husband have seen a few episodes and you know have been with her for a little while, he's probably feeling like, listen, man, you know this woman loves me. She's not going anywhere. We have a great relationship. You know she have basically accepted accepted me for who I am. You know me not wanting to be on camera. She's basically put her job and her career. You know on hold on the line for me the least I can do is start to loosen up so as she saw in the live you know that's exactly what he did as far as loosening up and um, doing his best to you know become a part of her world and what she's used to so they were both on you know her Instagram page together Instagram lives what I meant to say you saw that and Kenya went ahead and included you know more images of them they just look gorgeous together what a beautiful couple they're matching you know I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and read a caption as I talk because the live was already over seven minutes I don't want to make my commentary too long but you know I'm just glad and happy for Kenya you know she also have 1 million followers now on Instagram she basically did it you know the honest way most of these celebrities they buy the followers and all of that and some of them the you know people just follow them because they love them and all of that but Kenya was like whether you love me or you hate me I'm gonna let my page sit here who follows me and supports me great if that if not whatever and you know so that's that I don't really feed into the followers and all of that type of stuff you know I love my supporters on YouTube Instagram wherever but that the number does not make or break me or my spirit but you know congratulations to Kenya but so far, you know, she's doing great in her life. I love her relationship with Brandon and how he's just stand up for her. He's just there for her. I'm going to go ahead and include Brandon's message right here to her. And then I'm also going to go ahead and include her message right after that. Normally, I read these things. But instead of me reading it this time, I'm going to be quiet. Let the music play and let you guys read it. You can even put the video on pause and read it. If I come back too early and you are still reading, okay? because <laughs> I know sometimes when I'm talking while you're trying to read is a huge distraction so I'm gonna shut up now and let you guys go ahead and, and read now most of you are aware that um, Bravo and the ladies from the show always do a write up, like a blog write up the night after, you know, the day after the show. So this was Kenya. This is just an excerpt from Kenya Moore blog. I'm going to put the link in the description below. You can go to Bravo and read the entire thing because it's really long. She's posted a uh, chef, uh, but um, she went ahead and included him in this post and she posted picture at chef and you know me I owe this guy so much for introducing me to my husband I want to set the record straight on what it was like in the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and let the music play and let you guys go ahead and read this long extensive post that she made a lot of people are saying oh Kenya you don't have to explain yourself to anybody enjoy your marriage and so on and so forth but Kenya is basically in the space where she's like I'm not explaining myself to the haters and people. This is my blog. This is what we basically do. We've been doing it for years after every episode. And this is just my story. So go ahead and read my blog and things like that. And she went ahead and posted this. And I said I was going to let the music play and let you read it. But I kept talking. So I'm going to shut up now and let you do that. <laughs> now I'll come back.
Okay, you can also put the video on pause and read it as well. So I just want to move it along. <laughs> After um, that, you know, Kenya went ahead and um, basically moved on from the whole situation and it looks like she took a break from social well not social media she took a break from Atlanta and the drama and everything and she's currently somewhere peaceful on a mini vacation with her husband she posted this video right here on her live even though you can't you know really see clearly but she posted this and she also discussed if she's leaving the show or not so go ahead and listen to this live right here so beautiful I actually missed the sunset. I just love listening to these ocean waves. Wouldn't you just want to sleep out here? So beautiful. I know it's hard to see me. <laughs> it's, it's dark here. I'll let you enjoy the. Uh, I'll let you in, enjoy the uh, view. Quiet, King. I don't know where the light is out here. No, it's not an Android. This is um. This is my iPhone. But I'm sure the Android takes a better shot, right? It's nice out here in this patio. Oh, thank you guys. The view is nice. <laughs> someone, someone wrote King, shut your mouth. I know I said that <laughs> on one of the, I guess the last episode. He's always talking. Sometimes he talks too much. guys like it? It's peaceful, right? Look at this palm tree. So nice. Well, guys, I just wanted to show you how beautiful this is and share a little piece of heaven with you. Um, hi, Denmark. someone goes am I leaving the show no that's all silliness I'll make that decision <laughs> when it's time to make that decision but um, your girl is in full force this season King so close to me yeah they are both my fur babies yes they are hi love you guys too I needed this little getaway right now. I'm not in St. Lucia. I wish I was in St. Lucia, but I'm not. Hi, London. Okay, guys, just wanted to share. Next time I'll catch the sunset for you, okay? But it's so early, I wasn't expecting it to get dark. Kenya and her babies you know this is what she posted right here uh, talking about children you know so Kenya did say in another life that you know she and her husband they are trying to have a baby and she did post this and one of the um, captions were pray for me so we're all praying for Kenya you your wish is gonna you know come true man so we're praying for you when that person thought they were clowning the Android in the live and Kenya is so like nonchalant she's like oh the Android would have taken a better picture right 
Oh my gosh, people always want to clown out of phones. Your team iPhone, enjoy your iPhone. Don't be coming for Android now. Android is a good phone. <laughs> Oh man, I love her. She's like, uh, yeah, I am not about to talk about people who have Android or iPhone. Like, she that completely went over her head because that person was trying to say the quality was bad, and it was bad because it's an Android when uh, she was actually on an iPhone, and it was just where she was, and that was it. It had nothing to do with the quality of the phone. It was her connection and where she is, you know, that's just what it was. Also too, want to send a congratulations to Kenya and her husband, you know, she's adding more products to her brand. Like she wrote in that, you know, the business, you know, is doing well, they're about to expand, you know, just trying to not, she's not trying to prove, but just basically saying all of these, she's renting and buying a man, it's like, okay, you guys claim it's for a storyline, but she doesn't want him on camera. You claim he married her for money, but he has his own money, his own restaurant and things like that. So what else is it? Because when you marry for a storyline, then the person comes on television and like that in every episode. Yes, he's going to show his face here and there, but I'm sure it's going to be at the minimum. So it's like... So what's the point? So she went and got married just to have a storyline and say she's married, but he's not on the show. You know what I'm saying? And he have his own money, his restaurants and all of that. So, you know, but it's at the point where people hate so much that when everything they're hating on don't match anymore, they have to find any little thing. But I just love how she's just living her life. I love this image right here. The scenery is just peaceful. It's great. You know, you know, I just love everything about what Kenya have going on. Yeah, um, I hope that she's gotten it out of her system and she can move forward, be happy and all of that. Now, you saw some of the attachment in some of the images that I posted, but let me just talk about that. Um, Kenya basically, you know, at the beginning, because people have to understand the show is not live. Sometimes people get so wrapped up in the drama and, and Instagram and jumping on a bandwagon to hate some, someone that they lose common sense. It's not a live show. So what you're watching is not something that just happened a week ago. They filmed these shows months in advance. The reunion is closer to, you know, the end and all of that. And then if something major happened, they might throw in, you know, call you guys together to, to shoot that scene. Like we, however, Kenya did write in that comment. One of the comments I included that they no longer live apart. They live on the same roof. They have a brand new house in Atlanta while she's trying to sell more manor. I'm not sure if, if she's still trying to sell it, but I know she had a private, you know, um, company handling her, her real estate and all of that because she didn't want a public listing and people just coming through her house just to say, I went to, you know, Kenya Moore's house. She didn't want that. Um, and then also too, they have a place in New York. So they have a few homes and rich people do that all the time. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and any here, my friend, I love, you know, I love, like I said, Kenya relationship with Brandon and how he just defends her. He's there for her. And Brandon walked her down the aisle, guys. He was there. So, you know, this whole thing that a wedding did not happen, you know, he was there. And I'm just wishing Kenya, you know, the best. I'm wishing her forever. You know, she deserves this. And hopefully she does not. Well, she says she's doing better now and they're good. Hopefully she does not allow the outside noise and everything else to, you know, come in and destroy something amazing that she has. Because, I mean, when someone have waited so long, it's disappointing when they end up with, you know, you know what I'm saying? And so she waited and on paper and from the outside looking in, no one is perfect, but on paper from the outside looking in, he is perfect for her. Just everything checks out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, my friend I loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Remember to always have a god bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.